What up, everybody? It's your boy. Mm -hmm. Black one in the building. It's been a crazy, uh, crazy life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like a better description. I've been really um, busy lately. But, you know, I figured I'd go live with y'all and talk about um, another big week in hip-hop. Because 2018 has been a crazy week in hip-hop, man. It, or a crazy year in hip-hop from albums from pretty much every single one of my favorite artists who's dropped the album this year, except Jayla Electronica dropped that album. Um, also, uh, I mean, like Kanye West is dropping two albums in one year. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, Little Wayne Carter Five is coming out this weekend, and then Logic's album is coming out this weekend as well. And so I figure, you know, we, uh, we would figure out... Um, let you guys talk about it. If you guys enjoy me, we'll see how this story goes. But I'm away, in my opinion, and just talk to my damn self until people hop in this thread. Um, about who has the advantage of pulling off the number one album um, next week. And I don't know, it, 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 there's a lot to break down here. Because like I think that like when it comes to Lil Wayne announcing... Uh, Carter Five, which is like what four, five, six years in the making, uh, easily one of the most anticipated albums in a very, very long time. Um, so, I mean, I would definitely say that he has the advantage just based off of pure hype and pure um, anticipation for an album. I would definitely give it give the advantage to Lil Wayne, but. You know, um, I think the underdog in the situation is Logic. And the reason why I say that is because of the fact that Logic, that dude has a really strong fan base, man. Like, I don't think people are really, really, like... Because usually when you look at a situation, you're like, oh, well, Logic's not going to be able to do this because, you know, he's Logic and he's a newer rapper and he's not Kanye West, so he's out of the way. But, you know, this dude went three times platinum last album off of that 1-800-SUICIDE-HOTLINE song. And his fan base is rabid. Now, I'm usually like, when it comes to Logic's music, either I love his songs or I'm just like, nah, very corny. I think he's kind of corny sometimes. You could at me, whatever. But I think he, he, he comes off a little corny sometimes. But the thing about corn, especially nowadays in 2018, Corn goes a long way, man. Corn be selling. That corn be selling. And Logic has found the cheat code for the corn. So, you know, with that, that in mind, I'm not even sure. I, honestly, I'm going to be real with you. I haven't even been, like, paying attention to what this, that kid's been dropping lately. So, um, it'll be interesting to see. Like, I haven't heard any singles from him or anything. I've been just in my own world, which is probably not very... Uh, good to be in trying to have the conversation, but uh, I know that I'm a fucking massive Kanye West fan, and I know that I'm a massive Lil Wayne fan, and I fuck with Logic. But when you look at Kanye West's situation, so Kanye West, I feel like if Kanye didn't drop Ye this year to like mix reviews, he would definitely have the number one album out the gate. He would beat Wayne, he would beat, um, Logic, hands down. Like I, I, I actually like would put money on that. However, because of the fact that this dude actually did drop a dud earlier this year, not saying I actually I actually like Ye, but we're talking numbers wise and overall reception wise, Ye was a dud. That's his facts. I'm a, I'm one of the biggest Kanye West fans in the world, but you got you got to look at facts. How facts have been presented and that album was just not well received and what's interesting about that is because of the fact that Kanye West has like gone through this whole uh, transformation over the last couple months from where he was first on this like really weird uh, kind of trolly uh, support Donald Trump uh, make America great again wave that I still think was this whole performance art piece that was inspired by Andy Kaufman We'll talk about that in another video. I'm going on a tangent. But what I am saying, though, is that, like, 
he had this whole wave. And then after the TMZ show and the whole slavery is a choice thing, and he shit just got fucky for him in, in the sense that like he was no longer able to really operate on, on the level that he was able to operate on before. And his street cred got hurt, et cetera, so forth. As a result, you see Kanye West going on this huge campaign where he's doing all these radio runs now um, in Chicago. He announced that he's moving back to Chicago. Uh, he announced three albums. Well, I mean, Watch Your Throat 2 hasn't been officially announced yet, but Good Ass Job and Yandi, the sequel to Jesus, has been announced. And, you know, like, he's really trying to turn the other cheek right now. Now, with no single, there's no single out for this album, and barely any buzz. I think that, like, Kanye might not even really hit the top five with this album. I don't know who else is dropping, but it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Kanye West is one of the biggest rap stars of all time, obviously. So is Lil Wayne, though. And when you look at the numbers, um, based off of Lil Wayne's absence in, this, in the, in the hip-hop industry over the last couple years, I really, I mean, he's been dropping mixtapes and shit, but, like, he hasn't really been doing, like, full albums. He hasn't been on tour, really. He's done a couple pop-up shows here and there and a couple festivals, but Lil Wayne has been pretty much, like, out of the game. Now, Kanye West has produced five albums this year and another one coming out. Like, in, my opinion, in my opinion, Kanye West might be the artist of the year. And that's another discussion, too. Um, regardless of the actual overall quality of the music he's putting out, which, you know, that's debatable because I think that Daytona was fantastic. I think Kid Sees Ghost was fantastic. I love Tiana Taylor's album. Uh, Nas' album was aight. It was aight. Uh, Ye was aight. But, dude, still, three out of five, dude put out some heat, in my opinion. Um, and he's about to drop another album. That's crazy. So, you know, with his Saturday Night Live performance and the fact that he's dropping a day later, now, usually this wouldn't really matter, but I really think that him dropping a day later is really going to affect his numbers. And what's wild about that is, is be, it's mostly because of the fact that we are in this streaming generation where people, like when the album drops on Friday at midnight for Lil Wayne's Carter 5, um, Carter 5 is gonna go. Like that's guaranteed that it's gonna go. Like it's gonna do numbers, we all know this. Now, if the album's good, because we're, we're in a day and age where, you know, opinions will be formed immediately. I will probably have a reaction video on my YouTube page an hour after it drops. That's just facts. But people will have opinions on this album by Saturday, before Kanye's album comes out. We will see, we will hear feedback on this album. Um, if Carter 5 is good, if it's a good album, then it will, it will go number one. And I think that's the most crucial factor in all this is the actual quality of the music. I know that makes sense, you know. <laughs> it comes down to the fucking quality of the music. If Carter Five is good on that first drop on, on Friday, um, it might suffocate you, Kanye's run. Um, just based off the fact that there's been so much hype and drama and suspense behind this album. There's been multi-millionaire drug sleazeballs like Martin Shkreli buying the album. And it, this, the Carter Five, the drama behind the Carter Five is so epic that it's like one of, it's, it's something that they need to make a movie out of almost. Or like when they go to do the Lil Wayne documentary or whatever, they, they're gonna have to talk about the Carter Five. Like that whole thing is just wild. And I think all that, when you mix all that into it, is what's gonna make it pop. Now, we have no information on Kanye's um, album whatsoever besides the fact that he has been posting a lot on Instagram. He did post a couple of snippets with some new music, and I did actually like the little snippet that he posted. He is on some more modern hip-hop wave. He's doing some auto-tune singing. I was digging it. Um, but, you know, Kanye hasn't given us a true hip-hop banger of a single um, in 2018 yet. And that's like kind of where I kind of have to be like, uh, because, you know, the Kanye West that I know back in my day that I came up with used to always have a song on the radio no matter what. Kanye was dropping hits. Now, Kanye put out a whole mess of music this year. 
whole lot of it from uh, from Daytona from Kitchy's Ghost uh, to um, Yay Nas and then now Yandi Tiana Taylor's album and you've been seeing him a lot you've been seeing a lot of Kanye you've been hearing a lot about Kanye um, in terms of his tweets and like his press runs and him being on TMZ and yada 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 and this and that um, but what's happening is that like he doesn't have anything on the radio. Like, I don't hear any, like, radio hits um, by Kanye West. Now, I'm also not listening to the radio like that. And I'm actually not even really sure, like, how much that matters nowadays. I mean, it matters. It definitely does matter. The radio's still there because not everybody has access to Spotify and the internet, but people have access to a radio dial, usually. Um, so, I mean, it's not too... Not too crazy to think about the fact that Kanye West just simply hasn't been on the radio. And with no single from Yandi, and from my opinion, from the music that I've heard, we're probably not going to have any more music from Kanye West on the radio this year. Unless him and Chance do something with Good Ass Job. So, in conclusion, uh, let's see what's the time of this video. We've been talking for 11 minutes. Um, in conclusion, I feel like if I already sit here and break it down analytically, which I guess I just did for the last 10 minutes, on who's gonna actually wind up with the number one album, I think that the surprise answer, the surprise answer here is Logic. Logic will end up with the number one album. And this is because he has um, the most dedicated fan base right now in terms of the fact that uh, Kanye West fans, they we, we have been going through a lot this year. <laughs> Kanye West fans have been dealing with a lot this year when it comes to dealing with this man. And it's been a roller coaster. Lil Wayne fans have been sitting here just waiting for Lil Wayne to do something. So it's like, you know, there's a lot of investment into this album, but there's also like a lot of like, hmm, on this album as well. So, and then you look at Logic. Logic's been killing it, man. Like I said, last, last album, he went triple plat. And, you know, he's all over the Grammys. And he is arguably one of the biggest rap... He is one of the biggest rap stars in the world right now. Like, he might be bigger than Kanye in some aspects and capacities. But I think people are underrating him. So, you know, what do you think, though? I'm going to go ahead and end this video. You can go back and watch it. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow the page, all that shit. It's your boy, Black One. AKA Jerron Eichner, this is Starstruck. We love you. Peace.